Hey guys, Chris Cook in Nashville here. It is Hot Wing Night round two, and you guys asked for it. Today we're doing my buffalo sauce, and I'm combining it with my health vlog video. Stick around for buffalo sauce on Chris Cook in Nashville. <laughs> All right, y'all, here is the buffalo sauce recipe from my hot wing video. Y'all have really been requesting this one, so I'm gonna do that. Before I do, I'm actually gonna combine this recipe with my health vlog video this week. It's only gonna take a second, so if you're just here for the recipe, you're not interested in the health vlog, that's fine. If you wanna skip ahead, it's really not gonna be very long. Health-wise, guys, this week I am down basically almost another two pounds. I am at 271.7, which puts me over 113 pounds of total weight loss since I discovered what keto and carnivore are. Y'all, this is the way. This is how we get healthy. This is how we take care of ourselves. This is how we get so, so, so much better. And I hope that these recipes are helpful for you. I understand some of these recipes may have things in them that you can't eat or don't want to eat. These are just some options. I hope they'll help you on your health journey as much as they have on mine. Obviously, I'm not a doctor. There is no medical advice here. My personal opinion, keto and carnivore all the way. and You gotta figure out where you lie on that spectrum. Anyway, enough of that. So we're gonna talk about buffalo sauce. So I did the wings with the Kosori Air Fryer Review. I'm actually gonna link that video down below and I'm gonna put it on the end screen of this video as well. So if you wanna go watch that and see the chicken wings, so you have something to put this on, if you haven't seen that yet, that'll be in there. This is one batch of freshly made butter mayo. If you have not seen my butter mayo recipe, which remains spreadable in the fridge, mind you, I'm gonna link that down below as well. You're gonna need one batch of that butter mayo. Here's the thing about buffalo sauce. I had a whole bunch of people that said yes, they wanted to know, and then I had a few people that said, well, I do Franks and butter. That's pretty standard. That's what a lot of people do. Franks and butter is weak. Did you just say Franks and butter is weak? Yes, yes I did. <laughs> and that's not as an insult to anyone who makes their wing sauce that way. I used to make my wing sauce that way as well. Frank's Red Hot and butter. Here's the deal. When you make a wing sauce with Frank's Red Hot and butter, or any hot sauce if you have some other hot sauce you prefer, you are creating a very unstable solution. The oil of butter and you have the liquid that's in hot sauce and oil and water don't mix. You put that on the wings and they look great and everything's wonderful and then it all runs to the bottom of the bowl and it all separates and you get oil and you get hot sauce clumps. It doesn't look good. It honestly doesn't taste that good if you get a mouthful of oil. It's good if you've just made it and if you have that suspension of liquid in the oil temporarily there, it tastes good for a moment, but it does not last. Declines in quality quickly. This, on the other hand, is not going to do that to you. We're gonna play off of that Franks and butter, use my butter mayonnaise to create an emulsion that is not going to separate. Because it has vinegar in it, when you put that in here, it helps preserve this. I've had this last almost a month in the fridge. Use about half of it on wings. Forget it's back there, go check it, and it was still perfectly good. Instead of making this with regular salt, I actually made it with celery salt. You don't have to do that. Wings are oftentimes served with celery, and celery salt Salt does not bother me. If it bothers you, don't use it. Let me show you what else goes in. Of course, the original Frank's Red Hot hot sauce, aged cayenne red peppers, distilled vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. It is zero carbs. Now, if it bothers you, if you can't have peppers, if you can't have garlic, okay, you can't use something like this. You need to leave it out and you need to come up with some other way of flavoring this. I'm going to put about half as much Frank's as I use mayo. I'm not measuring this, okay? You can use more if you want it a little stronger. You can use less if you want it more mild. This is a customizable recipe up to you. I'm just gonna eyeball it. You don't have to get picky about this, guys. Sometimes the recipe is the killer of creativity in the kitchen. So it's two parts mayo, butter mayo. It's still thin. It's still warm. I just made it. One part Frank's Red Hot. And I'm just gonna kinda look at the color, and if I think, oh, I want more, I'll add more. And if I look at it and I'm like, nah, it's good, I'll leave it that way. Okay, the other thing I'm gonna do is add just a little bit of sriracha. Now, if you find one that has completely zero carbs, great. This has like the tiniest trace amounts in it. 
It's basically because they cure the peppers and age them with a little bit of sugar. It's the same thing they do with bacon. I'm not too worried about it. If it bothers you, don't use it. I'm gonna put maybe half of a teaspoon at most of this. It's just a little bit for flavor, and I'm not even really measuring it. I'm just squirting a little in there for flavor. Next, I have garlic powder and white pepper. Do these to taste, but I'm gonna do about a half a teaspoon of each. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, and the white pepper is actually a lot better you get this kind of smoky, peppery thing without it being overbearing or sharp. Okay, next is a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. I know this stuff has a little bit of the cellulose in it. It's trace amounts. It doesn't worry me. If it worries you, grate the stuff for fresh, you know, the real stuff. I'm just doing it because it's all I've got. I don't have the other. This is totally optional, but if you like that Parmesan flavor, it's real nice in the wing sauce. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon. Now, I'm not measuring this because it doesn't really matter exactly that much. We can be a little free here, so it's about a tablespoon. Okay, so that's everything that's gonna go into the sauce. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend it, then I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna check it for salt. I'm gonna check it to see if I want more Frank's Red Hot. If you like the flavor, but you want it spicier, add cayenne pepper. Don't add more hot sauce, because you're gonna start changing the flavor profile. Get the flavor profile where you like it, and then if you want it spicier, add cayenne pepper. It's, again, it's still warm, it's still liquidy. I'm just gonna blend this all together real quick. So we have this thick, creamy, orange hot sauce. Now I'm gonna taste it and see if there's anything that needs to be added to it and then we're gonna adjust from there. Oh, it's so good, it's so buttery, it's creamy. Because it's an emulsion, it is not going to separate. The egg is keeping the butter and the hot sauce all together, and when you put it on your wings, it coats them, it is thick and it is creamy. Not only is it my best recipe, it's better than anything I've gotten in any restaurant ever. I'm gonna add just a pinch more salt. I think it's totally fine on the Frank's Red Hot, so about two to one ratio is good for me. If you want more Frank's Red Hot, put more in there. Blend it up, make it a darker orange, that's fine. If you don't wanna do hot sauce, maybe that bothers you, put in the garlic powder, put in the Parmesan, a little bit of heavy cream, blend it together. Guess what? You have an instant garlic Parmesan sauce for your wings. This is absolutely amazing. Let me add a little more salt and just get it exactly right. Okay guys, here you go. That is the hot sauce. All I have to do is put it in the fridge, let it firm up, and when the wings come out of the air fryer, I throw a few spoonfuls on top of them in the bowl. It coats the wings beautifully, and they are the best doggone hot wings that I personally have ever had, and I bet they're gonna be the best you've ever had, too. There's three things that matter in your wings. Get them seasoned correctly, get them cooked properly, and put a killer hot wing sauce on them. I hope you enjoy this. I know it's not really carnivore with all of the spices and all of that, but it does not bother me. And I think it can be very friendly to someone on a carnivore diet, especially someone on a keto or ketovore diet. Long as the peppers and the spices don't bother you, this is the wing sauce you're looking for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Eat your meat, love your life, and I'm gonna see you guys right here in the kitchen for our next recipe.